So, remember all those times we ended an episode and I was like, Oh yeah, I should really level up Alice before we continue playing. And you were like, haha, yeah, but then I never did. Yeah. But guess what? We ended the last episode saying I should really level up Alice. But this time... I actually did it. Ooh. I, I did. I did it. So I think she's at the maximum now. At least according to Nick's cursory Google search. So there's that. There is that. Um, as you may or may not notice, though, I'm a little bit angry. Because, <laughs> you see... Uh, you lost uh, some duels. Well, I went... What I did was I went to um, Fort All Dead. Oh, okay. Oh, right. The, 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 there, the pit of skeletons. And there was just progressively more skeletons. And one of those rounds, I actually got a bit... I played bad. Oh. But I realized that it makes me do more damage, so that's a thing. Uh-huh. Well, yes, yeah, you've leveled up too, I assume. Yeah. Some. Um, no, but I meant, like, being angry makes me... Oh. Like, that's the way the game does it, that it gets easier, quote-unquote, if you lose a fight. Right. Uh, I get six muscles, uh, six musicality. That's a lot of stat points. Like, three per anger. But if I get more angry than five, I'll pass out from rage. Oh. So, anyway. Anyway. I also did a bit of like random wandering around here and didn't find anything new. So I really do think I found all that there is to find. Right. So. Um. That means... Now we were doing the uh, the reboot Hill Cemetery puzzle, but since we failed our guess, we actually have to rest and reset your anger levels. No, I think I did that. I okay. think I rested, but let's see. Now I w oh I was gonna say before you Oof. go there. Uh, you see the familiar palisades of an army fort, off in the middle distance. Swing Mr. Snooby toward it to see what it's called. No, sure, of course. Fort Memoriam. Um, ah. Yeah. So I was going to say, I looked up that puzzle. Okay? Yeah. And if you... Even if you do it... Deduce everything correctly, there are still going to be two answers that are possible. There huh. are, are going to be two that it could be. Yeah. And unless you have found the final clue by yourself, your your initial guess is always going to be the wrong one. Huh. Yeah, so the game is actually going to adjust itself. So let's just find that final puzzle before we even guess again. All right. And the final puzzle is at the Kellogg Ranch. I'm 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 pretty sure. Okay. <clears throat> I gotta do, I gotta yeah. do my things. Well, there's a sudden thrilling whoosh sound and a man dressed all in dark gray with a long flappy cloak and a gray bandana, bandana with two ends. Pulled up to conceal his face, appears before you out of the shadows. He brandishes a wicked looking, uh, looking knife at you, accusingly. Stop right there. Prove your allegiance for I'll suffer no cultists in this place. Could you be more specific? Well, the necromancers cultists, the skeleton guys. Sonny Jim, if you call her a skeleton cultist, you're gonna be eating those words with a side order of teeth. <laughs> oh no, I need more intimidating to do the fun thing. Oh, how I sad. I wish I could protest, but I guess I'm gonna fight. I guess so, because we ain't no god gosh damn skeleton cultists. Alright, so I'm just gonna do the thing where I'm just gonna attack him three times. I'm just gonna take out most of his health bar. Oh, the good old one, two, three. Yeah, the good old whack, 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 whack. The old one, two, Ooh. three. And if you upgrade that, I, I think it does successively more and more damage per hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Yeah. Oof. Ha, that wasn't that too did bad. nothing. Nothing. That's just an attack. Yeah, yeah, but see yeah. that? Alice did 17 damage. That's a lot of damage. Alright. Ooh. Oh, you beat the, the you beat the guy up, but stopped short of killing him. 
Since this is basically just a big mus misunderstanding and all. Oh yeah, that's good. But you got his repurposed cult dagger. Which does three damage. Poison the three poison wise. damage, but also 12 to 15 uh, damage base damage. damage. Uh, we have to compare that yeah, to your yeah, bone. Yeah, I know. What, what does my bone do? Oops. Yeah. My bone. Saint Beefus's thigh. Does 12, 12 to, 14. to 14. This was 12 but it to gives 15. Me, it's silver plated, deals extra damage against cows and other yeah. mini creatures. And increases your muscles and your maximum HP. It's very good. Can I silver plate new things? I think so, yeah. Because, like, this ain't half bad. No. But I like Saint Beefus's thigh. I know, I do too. It's just very. <laughs> I, I, what does the silver plate do? I forgot. Um, I don't know, because you, you silver plated your tongue, but I don't know. It probably works against, like, werewolves and stuff. All right. But, yeah, so we shouldn't do Reboot Hill right now. But what makes you think it's the Kellogg Ranch? Because I looked it up and it's the Kellogg Ranch. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> I'm not sure we've even found the Kellogg Ranch yet. No, we have not. Unless the Kellogg Ranch is in the old area. Uh, but I don't think I've seen a Kellogg Ranch. I don't think so either. There's... no. 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 Shall... Uh. So we should do something else in the meantime. Alright. Have we... well, we have been to the West Pole. Yeah, and we have been to Braidwood. Alright. Did we do anything we should return to Breadwood for? Well, no, Breadwood is a little shithole, but yeah. we got a bunch of different quests and different things we yeah, gotta let, help. Let's let's find the post for Breadwood. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. The postal good way station. Idea. Do you Ooh. think it's a post? Oh, oh. Maybe. That would be fun. Or maybe right. someone who's, like, acting all postal. Hmm. Uh, you catch a whiff of ozone. And abruptly pull the e-brake. Mr. Snoopy screeches to a halt. <laughs> you hop down and sniff out its source. <gasps> a shockweed plant. These things are really valuable, but they're hard to pick. Well, I'm gonna pick it. Ooh, ring. Okay, okay. Uh, shockweed extract. Ooh, good for spell damage. <laughs> oh, my esoteric botanical knowledge. Alright. <laughs> Shocking. Well... We basically get like a, a, a random encounter every time we go anywhere. Which is fun. Thanks to your wacky horse. My horse ain't the only thing that's wacky around here. Well, okay. No, nothing. There's a note on the door. There is a note on the door. <gasps> oh no, no trespassing. I am going to trespass. There you go. Okay. It's a stack of old newspapers. Oh, hey, there's an undelivered letter. It's addressed Roy Bean. His house of justice and jelly beans. <laughs> well, we were gonna go to Roy Bean's house of beans, so that's not too bad. His house of justice and jelly beans? Justice and jelly beans. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, wait, there's actually a postcard in here you could use. It's a blank postcard. Maybe you should write to your family Sorry. back home. In case you don't know how the mail works, you send these by going to a building called a post office and giving it to the correspondence wizard who works there. Wonderful. You can write to your family. Aw, someone has removed all the funnies, so there is literally no reason to care about them. That is true. When I was a kid, um, it was like some of the morning newspapers had like a... Um, section for comics and some didn't mm. and when when looking through them it's like if it doesn't have a comics section why would anyone buy this is what i asked myself yeah and nowadays we just get this local letter delivered for free and i'm so upset about it because no who wants print newspaper anymore <laughs> well what I find fascinating is that it still has a personals section. And people still put out, like, ads in those for, like, just, you know, 
man 30 years old seeks b blonde woman for fun time at the beach or whatnot. A and I'm like... Ooh. Install Tinder? Install Tinder, exactly. But, but people are still putting out ads in the local newspapers and I'm... Who does that? Who, Not I me. ask? Not if me. you are a person who still puts out personal ads in local newspapers and you happen to be watching this episode... Explain yourself. Explain yourself. Explain your rationale. Yeah. What, what happened? What didn't happen? Is this some sort of arrested the development thing where you're stuck in the 80s? Maybe they're cosplaying a 70s person. No, I think it might be like the big weirdos. The, the, the real big weirdo energy people who are like... Where it's like, I don't want to carry on a phone conversation with you before we meet because you wouldn't show up if I did. Exactly. Mm. If, if I'm going to get a match, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to keep the information at an absolute minimum beforehand. All right. <laughs> Let's see what else we can yeah. find. Oh, there's an article about how they had to change the name of Boot Hill Cemetery to Reboot Hill Cemetery because of all the skeletons and they're coming <laughs> back to life. <laughs> uh, I was wondering about the reboot. Right. Uh, ooh, maps. You don't know what they mean, but maybe you could ask about it at the post office in Dirtwater. Yeah. Maybe. Uh-huh. Big map. Okay. Yeah, that is the region. That is, that is west of Loathing. Oh, I can go through more of this. Yeah, but you've already did too. There's also a toilet in here. A turlet. Yeah, I know the toilet has me a bit confused. It's an outhouse, but inside. It's an in-house. Uh, you don't even want to know what bureaucratic processes were involved in the placement of this in-house. <laughs> outhouse. Yes. It is an in-house. I, I have declared it so. I know. I know. What was I gonna do here? Just uh, find the post? Well, you've, yeah, you found like undelivered mail that was supposed to go to Roy Bean. Alright, so let's find... I think it was at the bottom. Roy, Roy Bean's house. Roy Bean's house of Justice and Jelly Beans. Oh, Justice and Jelly Beans. I like it. <gasps> Your L vibrato device starts bleeping and the bleeping leads you to an unremarkable sand dune. Which quickly becomes remarkable when the robot bird underneath it wakes up. Hmm. I'm a fat. Ooh, that's a big one. Hola. Oh, oh, that's a big one. That is a big one. A big El Vibrato um. construct. Uh, you're gonna punch him and disable him? I have 10 action points, so I think. Punch. You can disable it for like three rounds. Right? I can do it for five, technically, I think. No, I think each uh, each, each disabling uh, costs three action points. It says punch oh, two. Oh, two. Yeah, yeah, so you can just, so you, I just, I you just, can just keep, keep it stun locked. This? Don't even need to <laughs> find out what it can do. Oh, my God. All right. Someone has been grinding off screen. Getting well, all it's them like action I was points. grinding Alice, but in the process, I was also grinding myself. That is so hot. <laughs> Um. <laughs> 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 it, <laughs> Ooh. Right, right. Ooh. Right. I'm <laughs> like, I'm like, is that the episode title? I'm not. That's, uh, it could be. It could be. Ooh. Ah. That's a way to get people to click on the episode. I, I did not think and, that and then, sentence through. Then they're gonna be disappointed when they find out what what that actually means. <laughs> yeah. Alice wants to talk to you. I know. <laughs> uh, what does Ooh. she want? Howdy, Alice. Alice is frowning at her research notes. Uh oh. What's up? Is there another cemetery in the area we need to check out? Yeah. Yeah, you might say that. Definitely there is a cemetery-ish thing, and definitely we need to check it out. Well, that doesn't sound ominous at all. You discovered a new map location, Buffalo Pile. Oh dear. Is that like just a pile of dead cows? It might be, but we know what happens to dead cows. Yeah, they come back. Oh yeah, that guy wanted a picture, a picture of an owl skeleton from the petting cemetery. We have All not right, yet thanks. been to the petting cemetery. 
Okay, so that's also... Well, what is it even ho hooked up to? That's an in-house, but on the outside. What is up with the toilets in this place? What is up with the toilets in this place? Oh, well, Roy must pr prefer to perform his morning ab ablutions outdoors. I'm going to perform some of my own. You gussy up a bit. <laughs> All right. There you go. Well, Roy, I think it's time. Can I look in the window? No. Hello. Oh, nothing for sale except for one thing that is for sale. Ooh, there it's is not. A oh, no, there's a spittoon. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk to Roy first. Whew. All right. Howdy there, pilgrim. Name's Roy Bean. Howdy, Roy. I'm Annie Goldthweed. What do you do here? Well, when I first came to these parts, I was all about two things. Dispensing justice and dispensing jelly beans. I was the biggest name in bounty hunting and candy selling anyone ever heard of. Gosh, what happened? Oh, nothing particularly tragic. Got old is all. Hung up my pistol for good. He points at the wall. He's pointing at an empty hook on the wall over a spittoon. <laughs> oh no, oh. the gun dropped in the spittoon, didn't it? I still sell some jelly beans from time to time, but uh, they're out of fashion. This old place is just a jelly bean museum now. <laughs> Seems like the sign out front isn't very accurate then. Oh, how... How do you mean? Well, if you aren't dispensing justice anymore, maybe it should just say museum. Hmm. I, I, I guess you got a point. I found this letter addressed to you. A letter? You hand over the letter. He opens it, reads it, snorts derisively, and tosses it into the fireplace behind him. Thanks anyway. <laughs> sure thing, bud. <laughs> For a jelly bean museum, I sure don't see very many jelly beans. Huh, bunch of crooks and shady characters stole them. All three jars. Suppose they think I'm a soft target now that I'm retired. Oh, well, that sucks. I'll help you get him back. Ooh, well now I certainly appreciate the assistance. Can't offer much in the way of a reward, but I can tell you which way the first group of thieves went if you happen out in that direction. The jelly bean thieves hide out. What are the odds they haven't eaten them yet? They might, they, maybe they're, they haven't finished counting them yet. Do you think they're goblins? Oh, no. No, I think they're just crooks and bandits. Okay. I'll go get him. Or kids. So. Mm hmm. This lack of <laughs> jelly beans is not for sale. Yeah, guess not. Not my bed. Oh man, we can get his gun, I guess. Oops. There's also a single jelly bean in a jar that is for sale. I know. <sighs> A Paraguayan murder bee honey jelly bean for 6,000 meat. What kind of lunatic would pay 6,000 meat for a single jelly bean? Not this kind, that's for sure. No, because you don't have 6,000 meat. I know. <laughs> honey. We spent it all at the circus. Yeah, and I need more for the circus. <sighs> all right. <sighs> As soon as you get near the spittoon, you can smell the overpoweringly sweet stench <laughs> it exudes. Nauseatingly <laughs> sweet, like the rotten corpse of a dead gummy bear. I don't think he's spitting tobacco in there. He's Yo. chewing jelly beans he's... and spitting them in there. Uh, uh. Garish rainbow colors swirl together in a congealing psychedelic madness. Is Roy using jelly beans as chewing tobacco? Yes. Yes, of course he is. <laughs> We're talking about a bowl of jelly beans that have been sucked on, half chewed, and then spat into a brass bucket. Do, do you seriously want to put your hand in that swill of artificial coloring and thickened saliva? It'll probably never be clean again. Yes. <laughs> Look, I'm serious. You're about to permanently dye your hand with a swirling mishmash of all the worst colors in the spectrum. 
no one will ever have a tattoo that looks as gross or as stupid. Have I mentioned that it's kind of funny that I keep swe- switching I the yes and no option <laughs> to trick you into I saying noticed. no? I noticed. Give it to me. Well, I tried. Don't ever say I didn't warn you. You plunge your hand into the spittoon and fish around for a while. Eventually, you pull out a really disgusting pistol and a really disgusting hand to shoot it with. The befouled pistol. It probably makes a patoo sound when you shoot it. So it's stench damage. All right. And, and you got a perk. Spittoon hand. Your hand... Come on, honey. Can you hover, hover over it? Oh, Thank I'm you. sorry. I was trying to drink my tea while oh. you do this. <laughs> Your hand has been permanently stained by the rainbow-colored contents of a nasty spittoon. On the bright side, that hand will never suffer anything worse than that ever again. So you got 20% hot resistance, 20% cold resistance, and 20% sleaze resistance. I got a perk for spittoon diving. Oh boy. 